Hello, welcome to another one of my tutorials on Pimple Z101. And uh, this is going to be a tutorial about the basics of Pen Tool. And basically, I'm making this because one, I haven't made a tutorial in a long time. And I'm still getting comments about how my 3DS Max tutorials were pretty helpful. And I feel kind of guilty not making any more. And uh, two, I'm trying to help a friend with some vector, and she never even used Pen Tool before in her life. So. Uh, this is kind of for her too. Okay, so basically, what we're gonna learn today is the basics of pen tool. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna talk kind of fast because the last one I just recorded was 14 minutes, and damn you, YouTube, because you only let me upload 10. So sorry if I talk a little too fast, but let's get started so I don't waste any more time. Okay, so basically, we're gonna come over here and select the pen tool. You can hit P, and it goes right to it. And the two main things you gotta look at is up here. It's up on the top. It says shape layers and paths. One is just a box, and one's a back box with a pen tool in it. Okay, so first we're gonna select the shapes. It's the one that's just a box. Okay, we're gonna change our color to red. It basically, it brings up all the stuff up here that we're gonna be using. We're just gonna go to color red. So it shows up nice. And go ahead and just start clicking around. Have a little bit of fun. You know, we're gonna make a little wacky shape here so I can show you everything at once. Everything you can do with pen tool. Okay, so this is our shape. For some reason, it kind of looks like a whale, but I guess that's only me. <laughs> uh, it's kind of boxy. I don't know if you guys like the corners, but that's something first I'm gonna show you that has always bothered me. I've always hated something that's all cornered and straight and it's, it's disgusting. It's nasty. <laughs> so go ahead and go to your pen tool, click and hold, and a list of stuff will come up. If you didn't know that, there's a black arrow next to a lot of tools, and if you click and hold, it comes up with a lot of different stuff, you know, paint, paint bucket tool, can turn the gradient, but this is getting a little off subject. So let's go back to pen tool, click and hold, and first we're going to mess around with the convert point tool. Okay, so with the convert point tool, you can go ahead and click on your path, and uh, all the dots that we made, all the points that we clicked on and created basically show up now. And with the convert point tool, convert anchor, yeah, convert point, I was right the first time. Uh, <laughs> you can click and drag basically, and it'll uh, help you round stuff out. See how I changed that corner into a nice round edge? And it just, it's basically what it's useful for it you can make everything really round and another way you can make things round is right off the beginning when you're pen tooling you can click and drag and make things round and this is the way I prefer to do it but some people don't like to do it like that so I'll show you both ways okay uh... so we're gonna round this out a little bit and uh... Okay, so we're kind of stumped here. I want to get this out here, kind of round it out more towards the left. But it, when I do that, it kind of goes in too, and I don't want that. So what tool do we need? We need to pull up the direct selection tool. It's a white arrow right underneath the pen tool. And basically what you can do is you can click on a point and drag it out more. So that kind of dragged it out more, and now I can round it and get a nice uh, feeling to it. Okay. Well, I want to make this top part, this line up here, I want to make it dip in, but I can't, I can't do it right now. It won't, it's not what I want to, it to look like. I don't want it to look like that. I want just this top to dip in. Well, they got a tool for that too. Go ahead and go to your pen tool, click and hold, and make sure you select add anchor point tool. It's a pen tool with a plus sign next to it. Go ahead and click in the middle of that, that line that you want to bring in. And what it'll do is it'll add another point, another little box that we can play with. So, <laughs> where's that sounds? Go to direct selection tool, go ahead, click on that box, and drag it in. And now you got your little dip that you wanted. But but now you're saying, oh well, I don't like that point out here. I don't. That's ugly, and I'm too lazy to drag it in because that would work too. So I just want to get rid of it. So go ahead, go to your pen tool, and there's also delete anchor point tool or you can just go ahead and click on a point and it deletes it and you know you got a little editing to do sometimes when you do that but hey it's worth it you get to delete them 
So that's the basics of the shape tool right now that I'm going to show you in 10 minutes. I'll probably make a part two. Okay, next we're going to get on to uh, actual doing pads, which is something I like to do a lot. It helps bring out a lot of stuff in your SIG, brings out flow. I know some of y'all didn't know I, knew I do SIGs. I used to do SIGs a lot. I'm kind of getting back into it. So, uh, some of you didn't know SIGs, you know what, most of you know what the pen tool is, but you know what flow is. Flow is basically, eh, it's hard to explain, I'm not getting into it. <laughs> Go ahead, select the pen tool. Uh, now, instead of going to the shapes layer like we did last time, we're going to hit path. It's the box with the pen tool in it. And we're just going to click and drag and make a curved, kind of squiggly line. That means absolutely nothing to us, because we hate it. We hate squiggly lines. They're ugly. No, they're not. Better than corners. Okay. You guys are going to just listen to me rant. So we got this little squiggly line here. And uh, basically what we want to do is we want to make a brush that like follows it for us. Because, I mean, if we tried to do it, we'd kind of mess it up now, wouldn't we? Yeah, all ugly. We suck. Okay. Also, make sure you do it on a new layer. Sometimes that kind of screws you up. But it's okay. Okay, so you got... You Make sure you get your brush, the size you want it and everything. Also make sure you come up here into your brush palette and select shape dynamics and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Okay, so you got your path. Go ahead and select your pen tool. You can right click on the canvas with your path and uh, you can hit stroke path. You can also do fill but uh, basically when you make a shape layer it can't be distorted. When you make it small, make it big. When you do it, when you uh, do it in here after you do a fill path like if I made this small and then I made it bigger it would come out all distorted and you don't want to most people don't want that I don't know why you would <laughs> so we're gonna right click and go to stroke and that box will come up you can also go into path on your layers tool and right click there it's the same thing okay so we're gonna uncheck simulate pressure also make sure the drop down list selects brush because that's what we're doing right now it has a lot of options so just select brush and hit OK and it'll make a stroke basically of our uh, our path that we created and you can hit backspace and it'll delete the path but I don't really like that it's kinda ugly fat we don't like fat so we're gonna right click stroke path and this time we're gonna simulate pressure and that's why we checked that uh... the box in our brush palette is because with simulate pressure and that it'll actually make basically what it's what that uh, uh, <laughs> All right, I'll just show you since I can't talk. Okay, you see how that's narrow, fat, narrow. It goes, you know, narrow to fat to narrow. That's basically what it'll do. And, you know, stuff we change in here will actually happen to our path. But it goes by the shape dynamics. Okay, so right click, stroke path, simulate pressure, and we got that narrow, nice look. Okay, and then you can just mess with these settings a little bit, get a cool effect. But uh, I think I'm a little short on time, so I'm not going to show you that this time. Next time I'm going to talk about vector and actual stock and everything like that. And that's going to come in a lot of parts, probably. But I hope this helps. And goodbye.